Greetings Hive fans. Welcome to another video where I help you play Hive like a champion. The 2022 Hive Online World Championship is well underway and the quality of Hive this year is at an all-time high. This is a game from the first round of the round robin between Niles Schechter playing under the name Niles and Patrick Berggren playing under the name Happy Kiwi. And it's called the Grasshopper Horde and you're going to see why as we approach the end of the game. So let's go ahead and get started. Niles opens with a ladybug. Happy Kiwi follows with a grasshopper. Ant and mosquito and both queens come in. Happy Kiwi chose a zed queen formation. The white ant attacks. Black ant comes in and the white mosquito. As of yet, neither player has played their pill bug. Black is the first player to play the pill bug. Not truly a uh, proximity pill bug because it's on its side to side rather than angle to angle, but the mosquito is there as well, giving pill bug power to the black queen. And the mosquito warps the black pill bug over into a good defensive position. And here comes Niles beginning. The beetle assault. The first white beetle, of course, is stopped by the mosquito that had ant power. And note how the white mosquito puts an elbow pin controlling this possible black beetle factory. We don't want black to be able to get a beetle up atop the hive if we are white. The black mosquito covers the white beetle. And the white, the white pill bug has yet to come in. White is controlling the outside of the hive very well. And all three black ants are pinned and controlled. Many times when you see a situation like this where a black spider uh, spawns off of a, an ant that's already pinned, you'll see the uh, pinning bugs swing out and make this into a double pin. But the disadvantage for white to do that is the white mosquito currently has ant power. If it moves out here, it will lose ant power, only have spider power. And again, this beetle factory would open up here. So white allows the spider to stay and instead brings in a repeal bug so that the black spider can't attack. And as expected, the black spider pins the white mosquito. White ant comes in, and there are no black bugs available to pin it, so the white beetle is climbing up atop the hive. The black beetle follows in a defensive position. And instead of moving forward to cover the grasshopper, the white beetle goes ahead and attacks. Black Mosquito moves forward, preparing to defend if the Black Queen gets covered. And sure enough, White Beetle covers the Queen and the Mosquito forms the Oreo stack, covering the Black Queen-White Beetle combination. The White Spider comes in, possibly to do a, a pen replacement, but instead it attacks. First, the white spider comes in. Black forms a ring. The white spider attacks. And at this point, only black bugs are mobile in the ring, so black can break the ring wherever he wants. Rather than breaking the ring with the ant, for example, black chooses instead to warp the white ant into this pocket right here which essentially puts the white ant out of commission for the rest of the game, leaving the ring intact, by the way. And now here come the grasshoppers. First thing black does is uh, immobilize the one mobile ant. Second grasshopper comes in. Black grasshopper jumps out. Better might have been for the black ant to... Uh, do something breaking the ring. 
The white pill bug moves forward. This is an in, in, interesting and important maneuver here because the white pill bug is moving forward. If the white pill bug can get to here, then it's possible that the white pill bug can also join the attack by warping bugs into a kill spot here. Not realizing the danger of the grasshopper horde, black brings in a beetle, which is a good long-term choice, but there's not going to be a long-term once the grasshopper horde gets into full play. So when the white pill bug moves in forming the ring, the black pill bug breaks the ring, keeping into a proximity pill bug position. And the final grasshopper comes in. Now let's take a look here at white's bugs. White needs four kill spots filled to win. All three grasshoppers have angles of attack. In fact, this grasshopper has an angle of attack to two kill spots. In addition, the ladybug has an angle of attack to any of the four kill spots. So white has four bugs ready to jump into the attack. The black grasshopper jumps out. Notice the reason for the black grasshopper jumping this direction is if either one of these spots get filled, it frees the black ant to be used for defense. But white comes up with a very interesting way to stop that. First, the grasshopper jumps this direction. Now this grasshopper, which used to have an angle of attack to here, now has an angle of attack to there. Black Mosquito moves forward, hoping to defend. And now notice this was a very interesting play by Niles. I missed it completely when I was watching it in person. The White Pill Bug warps the White Queen to here. That's a very, very important position because it blocks the Black Ant when these kill spots get filled. And at this point, the game is all but over. The Black Mosquito moves out, hoping to stop something. But first one grasshopper jumps in. When the black beetle climbs up, the white mosquito covers it. The black mosquito comes in, vainly hoping to defend. But when the white grasshopper takes the setup shot, white has two bugs aiming for the kill shot, the beetle or the ladybug. The mosquito elects to cover the beetle and the ladybug takes the kill shot. What an exciting end and what a devastating attack. Let's go back. As the first grasshopper comes in, we're going to go through it very quickly. Notice how very quickly all three grasshoppers come in. The grasshopper horde proves victorious. Congratulations, Niles, for a great game. Of course, this is only the first game of a four game match and the first round of the three rounds of the round robin. Top two players in each group of four moves on to the knockout rounds later in the tournament. Thanks again to everybody for watching. Thanks for Niles and Patrick for this fantastic game. I wish them well in the continuation of the tournament. As always, there are links down below. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. There's a link there as well. I'm hoping that before the end of the summer, I'll be able to buy a new computer, new faster computer that will allow me to live stream uh, much better than I have been. So until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off. As always, I'm here helping you play Hive like a champion. Thanks for watching.